Good morning and hello from Chiang Mai, Thailand, a beautiful city in the north of Thailand. Today we're going to be going on a cool adventure. We're going to be riding motorcycles from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai, a trip of about 200 kilometers. Northern Thailand is known as probably one of the premier motorcycle destinations in the world. We've got mountains with great roads, a little bit dangerous, but fun. One of the cool things about being here in the north of Thailand is that they have all sorts of rental bikes available for cheap prices and a huge selection. You can get really almost anything you want. So we got our bags packed. Let's head over to the bike rental shop and we'll grab a bike and then we'll be off to meet up with the rest of our group. Let's go for a ride. If you look behind me here, you'll see Pop Cycles. That's where we're going to be renting a bike today. They literally have hundreds of motorcycles available to rent. They're affordable and they come in all sizes, really whatever suits your riding needs. So you can rent anything from a little small Scoopy to a Falano to a big uh, Kawasaki Versus, Honda CRF 250s, Honda CBX 500, CB 500, CB 750s. NS 700s, Honda PCX, you name it, they probably have it. To give you an idea of the price, today I'm paying 1,200 baht per day for my bike. One of the things I would recommend to you if you're going to be riding a bike in Thailand is, first of all, make sure you have some sort of accident insurance. Thailand is the second most dangerous place in the world to ride a bike not by any vehicle. <clears throat> the road fatalities here are off the charts. It can be incredibly dangerous. Road conditions, the drivers, drunk driving, you name it. If there can be a problem on the road, it's here. So, if you're gonna ride a bike, I right, please do yourself a favor. Wear a helmet, wear proper safety gear, and know what the hell you're doing. Because if you don't, you're very likely you will end up wrapped up in gauze at the least, in a hospital bed, or worse. Uh, one of the things I want to mention is if you're going to rent a bike, make sure you take a walk around the bike and inspect it before you leave and take photographs of any damage that you find. Because if you don't, when you return the bike, you will find that you will be charged for repairs. It doesn't mean they repair the bike necessarily, but you will be charged for the cost of repairs. So, in a way to protect yourself, take pictures of any damage to the bike before you leave the shop and have that with you. And make sure that they mark down any damage on the bike on the contract that you'll be signing. You'll most likely be asked to leave your passport, and that's cool, not a problem. All right, let's go get a bike. We'll go have some breakfast after that. And then we'll go meet up with the boys and we'll be on the road shortly. All right, well, it's probably a little bit noisy out here. I'm standing next to a big generator, but we finally met up with the rest of the boys. So like as you can see behind me, we've got several bikes. Take you a quick walk around and look and see what bikes everyone's riding. And then we'll be off. The Honda CBX 500. Steed 400. Dirt Tracker 250, Harley Sporty 1200, KLX 250, Harley, and a Versus.
started with seven bikes and we've ended up with about 15 I guess about five kilometers outside of Cheng Rai uh, on a par road that parallels the main highway we're at Singha Park as you can see behind me there is the giant Singha symbol we'll go from here into town and grab our hotel freshen up a bit go to a big biker party and then from there the rumor is we'll go to uh, Tawandeng which is um, a very traditional Thai country style bar. It's a lot of fun, live music, live bands, some comedy, and uh, lots of alcohol and food. All right, we'll see you there. Well, after a long day's ride, we finally made our destination of Chiang Rai. We had a great time, and it really shows the kind of adventure you can have riding a motorcycle really anywhere in the world, but especially in Thailand. We met other guys on the side of the road. We ganged up together and rode together. And what started as seven bikes ended up with close to 20 bikes riding together. Thai, German, American, Australian, French, people from all over the world, all with one thing in common, and that's enjoying the beautiful roads here in Northern Thailand. We were lucky enough to be escorted into Chiang Rai by some of the local MC boys and taken around to a couple of their spots and introduced, which uh, was quite special. We saw uh, the look that only 20 bikes riding through a small village can give people. <clears throat> anyway, now we've um, <clears throat> got a couple hours of downtime. We're going to recharge our batteries, going to wash our asses, we're going to get back on the bikes, and we're going to go to a biker party. And who knows what might happen there? Well, I think we might know. But stay tuned. We'll see more soon.